If you guys want to get notified whenever I buy or sell a player, make sure to follow me on ultimatetrader.club, sign up for free now, and check how I make coins with my trading journal. How's it going everyone and welcome to a quick update video about our team of the week free investing. In my last video you guys saw me talking about MyCon. Some of you guys tweeting me the mad deals making on MyCon right now, currently selling for around 6,000 coins in the hype. Mad props to anyone who listened to me in my last video, it was risky but rewarding. Now until the evening the price of MyCon should slowly settle back down, that's when I'm going to pick him up. If you have subscribed to my journal, make sure to check your phones or notifications on browser as I will enter it as soon as I rebuy my icon and hold progressing the week. Another team of the week risk investment was once to watch Yarmolenko. Big props to anyone who had him. Currently extinct at 200,000 coins. Now what to do? Should you sell or should you hold? I do think if his price range does not get updated until the weekend leak, he'll be supplied more and go down in price. There's also a current chance for him to get back down a bit tonight as due to people who can't hold him enough longer for a longer period of time and increase his supply on the market. Or he could simply get his price range updated and go from there up in price. What I think is if I had this card at this stage, I'd sell this card and wait for other team of the week investments to fall over, like Mykon's base card or maybe even De Bruyne, Isco's base card. I do think any card that's in demand should slightly push up progressing into the weekend league from the progressive fall and stagnation that is bound to occur tonight. Neymar is currently falling down to the lowest price he was. I do reckon this card could be sniped now during the panicking as so many people expected him to get into the team of the week, but due to not him him being in the team of the week, he's getting undercut and lower in price. I don't know if you guys ask me when to buy icons or if they're a good price. Uh, all I can say right now, boys, is that this is a completely new market for myself. I wasn't on Xbox last year and I couldn't monitor Legends. So if you can make coins on other investments right now and buy icons before Black Friday, at the end of November, like myself, I do think you're bound to make amazing coins. If you have the ability to support me on Ultimate Trader, make sure to check the picks I'll be making then as I think we will be making mad and I mean mad profits. For those addressing any other wants to watch cards, please keep them if you hold at this stage. You could sell them before the international matches and rebuy them after if they had a bad performance, but you could also make more coins if they have a good game. I'm not holding any wants to watch players because my tactics right now is to wait for any of them to have a horrible game and buy them on Saturday or Sunday after this bad game that they had. That is in my opinion the smartest thing to do if you don't hold any wants to watch cards. Can't thank you guys enough for the amazing support lately on my daily streams on Twitch at 5.30 p.m. UK time. Also been getting more exposure on YouTube, so many thanks for almost hitting those 5k subs. If you guys have any further questions, just drop them down in the comments or follow me on my social media.